I'm excited for Ohio State football. I am. Billy here, he's been following up a lot on it lately, though. And I know he's going to have a, a column or a post that it's going to be coming out to recap the game, right? I think we'll have it up on WHBC. Okay. Com. All right. So you're going to preview, not recap. You're going to preview uh, the matchup. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be the preview for the game tomorrow night. And then I will have a, a recap and thoughts on the game and going forward. Um, so that'll be actually twice a week. I'll be doing that. Okay. So probably a preview of each game and then a recap of each game. All right. And this is Billy Beebe. I'm sure um, if you've listened to any of our whbcsports.com stream games, he's been there. Um, he's bringing that to you and he's producing my show here from 10 to noon. So I want you guys to get to know him as well. And that's why we talk sports. I'm a sports minded person. So is he. Um, and sports is his cup of tea. What can we expect tomorrow night? Yeah, the Minnesota, I think, is a good team for Ohio State to start with. And C.J. Stroud, the new quarterback for the Buckeyes, talked about him the other day, Jordan. This is a a new quarterback in what is hopefully the line of five-star recruits that end up going pro from Ohio State. Stroud is extremely athletic, big, good arm, quick feet. He played last year behind Justin Fields, but he never threw a pass. Okay. He has a famous 45-yard touchdown run, mm -hmm. but actually no quarterback threw a pass besides Justin Fields last year. Um, so it'll be fun to see Stroud get out there. And they're good. Ohio State is good for picking up mobile quarterbacks. Absolutely. it's their. I think they stopped not getting mobile <laughs> quarterbacks. Um, actually, Todd Beckman took them to the national championship, but he was not mobile whatsoever. And then the next one was Terrell Pryor oh, and so yeah. on and so on. So here we are. Yeah, I mean, they've been mobile, and it's been kind of weird to the whole quarterback thing with Ohio State to not see them progress really before Justin Fields at the NFL level. You know, not really see yeah. – quarterback success and we talked about that a little bit yesterday now we have olave ohio state has olave coming yeah. back right and then another he'll be big in the draft when he graduates yeah. he's gonna be i think the number one receiver or the number two receiver wow. in the draft taken so. wow i mean his hands i mean they're unmatched you know i mean he his hands his speed what do the buckeyes have on the defense that that i think is where people have questions there's some um, holes there there's holes, and I think the problem is on offense, you're going to look so good. On defense, you're going to kind of wonder what happened. And then we talked about it too, Jordan. Where are, where are the guys that we're used to seeing? The Bosa's, the yeah. Denzel Ward's, the um, you know the, the middle linebackers that are always so good. Uh, we, we're losing both our top tacklers at linebacker. They're both gone. And then it's going to be a new cornerback set. Thankfully, both are seniors. The middle linebackers are an experienced group, and the entire D-line is seniors, so that'll be good. And then the two big recruits that Ohio State got recently are both on the defensive line. Now they're going to start as backups and work their way in, but so did Nick Bosa, so did Joey Bosa. That's kind of how it works. Jack Sawyer and TJ Tusamulo. Tusamulo. Okay. <laughs> I, I might not be saying that right, but they're monsters. They're both five-star, number one recruits at defensive ends in their state's and um, I think, respectively, they're one and two in their class. You know, the biggest returning person, contributor for the Ohio State Buckeyes, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but is Jim Harbaugh coming back for a seventh year <laughs> at Michigan? <laughs> hey, at least that's just me. I mean, they announced... You know, a couple weeks ago, oh, yeah, you know, Jim Harbaugh, excited to come back for his seventh year, blah, blah, blah. So are we, okay? Any Anyone who likes the Buckeyes, they're like, yeah, you know, I'm surprised there isn't a GoFundMe to throw money into to uh, help pay a salary. You know what? Give him a raise. He's doing <laughs> a great job. Oh, man. I hope, I hope you guys got a chuckle out of that for all the Ohio State fans out there.